What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna check out the new set that is supposed to be good for Ayaka. There are some mixed opinion about this set, so hold on tight. I'll explain about this set. So currently, I have my Ayaka with the Shimenawa set, okay? How do you read this? <laughs> Anyways, two-piece set gives you 18% attack and four-piece set effect says when you use E skill, if you have more than 15 energy, then you lose 15 energy and normal charged plunging attack damage is increased by 50% for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna be using this on Ayaka and Xiao, all right? Because you probably wonder how he's gonna do because he's a plunging attack character, right? But before we get started, we have to take a look at the damage that I did with the Blizzard set, right? So this is how much damage I did on Azdaha. Here we go. That's 34. And 46. Almost 47k charge attack. And this is going to be an experiment with the new set. We're going to be using the same team. We're not going to be using any food here. Because we kind of looked at the critical damage, right? So we're going to go ahead and attack Azdaha, alright? So the damage is going to be the way I tested on the R1 to R5 comparison. You know why? Because I screwed up on R1 and then I had to keep the same sequence. However, when I was doing a charge attack, it was three stacks, okay? When I was using my Q attack, it was two stacks. So it doesn't make a lot of difference. I don't know what you're trying to say on YouTube. Are you trying to say that R5 is actually worth it? Hey, my point of that video was to tell you that it's not worth going for multiple refinement for five-star weapons. Anyways. All right, here we go. Time to make YouTube people mauled again! Because I'm gonna be using Q right away without using a sprint. Here we go. Alright guys, the reason why I did more damage with Blizzard Strayer is simply because I lowered my critical chance because I'm assuming that I'm going to be freezing the opponents. So, that damage was achieved by having extra critical damage. So, the amount of damage I did with Blizzard was higher and there was not much of a complicated mechanism or anywhere. Because I was going against Azdaha, I did less crits. But if I had to go against little mobs where I can actually freeze them, that Blizzard set is going to be stronger. But why does it feel like I like this set a little bit more? Because I'm not going to be restricted with anything when it comes to crits. I don't need to worry about freezing the opponents now. Before we move on, I'll show you her stats. We have 2500 attack, 67% critical rate, 231% critical damage, 112% energy charge. I'm right now using attack percentage goblet. And this is what my artifacts look like. Is this gonna be good for Xiao as well? Well, obviously, yes, because the amount of, like, the set that you use on Xiao is probably two-piece gladiator and two-piece veridescent set for 15% animal damage bonus. Hey, screw that. Let's try to see if we can do a uh, huge PP damage with Xiao Q. This is how you would be building Xiao, usually. So, right now, if you have five-star weapons, right? I have 2587 attack because I have a pyro resonance, no elemental mastery, 70.5% critical rate, 270% critical damage, no energy charge, 61% animal damage bonus. My weapon is Homa. I'm using two piece VV set and a two piece gladiator's finale. C6, talent level 8, 11, 11. So, we're gonna be using this team to find out how much damage he's gonna do with plunging attack. We can compare this set with the new set. Hello, Astaha. I'm here to clap your ass. There you go. Eighty-three K, eighty-four K, eighty-six. There's that. All right, so. We have the new set. We have 2569 attack, 72% critical rate, 238% critical damage, 112 energy charge, and I have 46% animal damage bonus because we don't have VV set anymore. I have a question. 
Does it say that if my character has more than 15 energy, if I use E three times, do I lose like 45 energy or something? We'll find out, okay? Hello, hit me. Oh, yes. One more time. Oh, hit me, daddy! One more time. He's gonna be jumping, though. Can I survive that? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God! Do you guys see that? Where'd he go? Hey. Uh. Hello? 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 Mother. Okay. He people leave, so we're gonna have to leave too. And then this time, we're gonna lower our HP so that that shit is not gonna happen again. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's, uh, here we go again. Nobody saw that. I don't know what you're talking about. Good idea. <laughs> okay, watch this. Oh, how about this? Mm, very nice. No, no, no. You need to lose HP. God damn it. Energy mod check off. Dungeon master. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> set dude, this useless set. I don't even know why I'm taking my YouTube video like this. <laughs> El no sabe. <laughs> well, hey, let's try to get hit here while we're trying to get some energies. Burn the grass. Oh, okay. I guess we can do that. Hey guys, me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's enough. No more, no more, no more. We can't get the, the effect for Homa anyways, because I'm going to be standing on Binet's queue, and that's how I did my first experiment, right? So if that's the case, then why don't we just stay on it? I was trying my best to uh, stay away from Binet's queue. I didn't want to get healed too much, but... Goddamn. God damn, this takes away my energy. Like every time, when I have more than 15 energy, this takes all my energy, dude. Look at that shit. I don't think I can use this in real battle. What the f dude? Like, it doesn't give a shit about the cooldown. There is no cool. There should have been a cooldown. But there isn't. So every time. Especially when you have more cost lasers, right? That means you can have one more stack of E. So that you can lose 15 more energy. <laughs> Were we able to see a huge damage difference? And if I did play it right, that would have been no. And because this is a new set, I wasn't able to get something nice here. But still, this crit rate, crit damage is stacked. These are pretty nice. However, because of this set, like because of the way it works, this is definitely not for a Xiao. And if you're Xiao main, if you're trying to farm this artifact because, oh, it gives you 50% plunging attack damage. No. But one more thing we can try out is probably going to be Ganyu. Let's try it. The reason why Wanderer's Trap set is good is because 35% here is multiplied. So that's why I think this is not going to make her greater. But we can always check that out. Just for science, right? Because Ganyu doesn't need energy when she's doing a charge attack. This is my Ganyu with 2590 attack, 169 elemental mastery, which isn't really important for this test. 66% critical rate with a 204% critical damage. No energy charge, 46% crowd damage bonus with the full wonder set. C6, level 9, normal attack. Here we go against the Cryo Primal Joe Bishop. Yeah. 
That's a... Uh, wait, why did I do more damage? Is it because I was far away? 20k, 35k. Can I actually create a waypoint while I'm in this state? And I don't even have a waypoint. Great. Let's go back. I'm like, why the f*** was I happy when I got some nice substats on this red and white set? Like, I'm not so happy anymore. So, we have 61% critical rate, 178% critical damage, no ER, and we have 46% cryo damage bonus. Let's go ahead and see if there's any damage difference. Here we go. Okay. This is the damage with the E. This set is actually usable on Ganyu. You guys have seen that I had lower critical damage than my Wonder Sit, and this actually helped her do about the same damage as when I was using Wonder Sit. Wonder Sit is really, really hard for you to farm them, and if this is the performance for Ganyu, then it should be the same case for charge attack characters like Yanfei, but I'm not so sure if that's that great. So if you think about it, if you have good Wonder Sit, then you can get those damage without any cost. But for this artifact, they cost you 15 energy. If your character has enough energy charge, then that energy can be gained right away after using your E. But especially when I'm using like Xiao, Ganyu with a lot of stacks of skills, right? Every time you use them and every time you have more than 15 or more energy, you're gonna lose your energy. So if you have, by any chance, if you built your character with no energy charge and you cannot get that 15 energy from using that skill, then this set is not for that character. However, for Ganyu, I thought it was okay because although she can use Q, she also uses charge attacks. So if I really, really was desperate for her wonder set, I'd probably think about using this set. Because when you're farming this domain, the new domain, you're not farming for this Shimenawa set. You're farming for Emblem, this purple set, right? Because this is pretty much an artifact that can be used for everyone. Because energy charge is not bad. Who's gonna say no to energy charge, right? But for this one, it looks like there are huge restrictions for you to use them. And if anything, this artifact is worse than the existing artifacts. So before we wanted to end the video, my chat suggested me to use it on Tartaglia. So we are here at this domain and we're going to see if we can hit 20k damage with child. All right, guys, you guys ready? But before you do anything, I'll show you my stats for Tartaglia. I have 2200 attack with a pyro resonance. No elemental mastery, so I'm not gonna be trying to do any of the melt or vaporize damage with whatsoever. No, none of that. 83% critical rate, 195% critical damage. So his stats are a little imbalanced. And 124% energy charge, 75% hydro damage bonus. Here we go. Okay, we've seen a uh, 27k charge attack. Okay, all right. So this was the outcome, no ult used, and we need to make sure that this is not the power of Kazuha, okay? So this time we're going to use the regular set. So right now this is with the full Hydro set, 72.9% critical rate, 195% critical damage, 128% energy charge, 90% Hydro damage bonus, four piece Heart of Death, and here we go. So the top damage we saw with that new set was 27k from the charge attack. But we're also going to have to take a look at the average damage, right? So here we go. I've seen 38k. There shouldn't be any melt. So, the clear time difference, it was almost the same, to be honest. And if you do have a Hydro set, then you can use it on Child. But, if you do have the new set, you can probably use it on Child as well, because it will still work. It would be wrong for anyone to say that the new set is useless. It's if you have those artifacts already. But when you're farming for that new godly artifact set, 
there's a very good chance that you will get some useful she set here and there. So if you do get them, you can use them. But compared to the existing sets, I don't think they're greater, but rather like worse because they take away the energy. It really sucks. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you got more purple set than the red set. And because I was able to complete the red set first, I was able to come up with this showcase video and I'm happy that I can stop you guys from, you know, <laughs> dreaming about using that red set onto Xiao, you know? If you have Xiao, you should not think about using that set, you know? Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.